the Oscars was amazing. <laughs> no, genuinely, it was my first time there. I am uh, eternally grateful to anyone who like, like made it happen. I was, I, was, I was in heaven. I was like, this is genuinely insane. Like, everyone tries to act fancy about it. I see people tweeting all the time, like, oh, nobody cares about the Oscars. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? I don't care about it. <laughs> Man, I don't care. And then it's like, Helen Mirren? Was that Helen Mirren? <laughs> Oh my God, Daniel Craig! I care, I care now, I care. <laughs> People try and act cool all they want, man. It's like, no matter who you are around the world, you watch movies. Do you know what I mean? Like movies that'll make you happy, movies that'll make you sad. These people, you see them as part of your life, you've grown up with them, and then when you see them in person, it's, it's, it's a magical experience. It genuinely is. Like, the event was amazing, and there's like all these after parties that come afterwards, and I didn't know about these things. So it's like, there's the main event, and then there's like the first after party, and then there'll be like the next after party. It's like, a, like it's called the Vanity Fair after party. And it's super, super like, like exclusive. And then you go there. And so we get there. And this is also where you see like levels of fame and stuff, which I really love. Cause <laughs> like we're all standing in line. Everyone there has achieved something in some way. You know what I mean? So I'm standing there, it's myself, it's Terry Crews. You know what I mean? It's, it's like, like you're standing in the line with people. People know, like, you, you, you know what I mean? It's Keegan-Michael Key, there he is. It's like, yeah, we, we, we've done stuff, you know us. And then we're, we're moving forward and then they stop us. They're like, please move aside. <laughs> Jennifer Lopez is coming through. <laughs> and literally we're all like, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry. And, and JLo walks in and she goes and she stands. And this was the funniest thing because there's all these photographers taking pictures, right? And they're like taking pictures of us while we're standing there. And then when JLo comes, it's almost like the photographers wish they could untake our pictures. <laughs> Like, they wish they could be like, ah, oh, I wish I hadn't wasted any battery on these men. Because she, I don't know if you saw the pictures of, she looked amazing. She had like this glitter ball gown thing. It was like mirrors, it was reflecting. It was like, just like, it's like, so she's walking through and everyone is just like, she looks stunning. Everyone, you, everyone just wanted a picture of her. Like no one, we, we didn't exist anymore as people. <laughs> As, as anything. Like, even, even, my, even my iPhone started deleting my own pictures <laughs> by itself. It was just like, no, no, make space, take pictures of JLo. I was like, this is my family. Screw your family, Trevor. <laughs> take pictures of JLo. So, so, that was, so that was the one after party. And then, um, in my opinion, probably the best after party of the night is the Jay-Z Beyonce after party. Yeah, so they, they throw, and it's like the coolest thing ever. There's no social media, there's no anything. It's just people having a great time. And it, like everyone's just having fun. But again, it's a little, it's a little weird. Cause like, you, you, if you're not used to it, you, there are moments when you go like, this is surreal, right? Cause like one moment I'm on the dance floor and I'm dancing, I'm like dancing, dance. Cause the DJ Black Coffee was there. South African DJ, amazing. And, and he's on, the, and so I'm dancing. I'm like, yeah, South African, <laughs> South African. And then, and then Usher comes onto the dance floor and he's like, let's dance. And it's like, no, 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 Usher. No, you're like a professional, no. Like the rest of us is just like, hey, hey. And then Usher's like, move, move to the other one, to the thing, do it all, yeah, bam. And it's like, no, there should be like a professional dance floor and then a dance floor for the rest of us. This is bull, like the rest of us is just like, like making our bodies move and Usher's dancing. It's like, what's next, karaoke with Beyonce? No, it's not fair. It's not fair. You, you go dance over there. And speaking of Beyonce, like Beyonce and Jay, like just the sweetest, nicest people ever. You know, this was the weirdest moment of my night and maybe my life. I will see where I categorize it. Was I'm on the dance floor. Everyone's having a good time. And then Beyonce starts walking in my direction. So I'm like, oh, I should move, right? Because <laughs> it's Beyonce. Where she is going is not to me. So I'm like, <laughs> I'm like I must move. It's Beyonce. And I also do not want the beehive coming after me because they're like, yo, you blocked Beyonce's path. <laughs> I don't want to be involved in this. So she like walks towards me. So I like turn to move out of the way. But it turns out she was coming to say hi. She says hi to everybody. Like just like, like a nice hi. You, you, you think she'd be like sitting in a box like waving? No. <laughs> she's saying hi and she's really cool. And she comes over to say hi. But now I'm like moving away from her. <laughs> And she's like trying to like come in and hug me and say hi. And I'm like moving. And then I realize I'm like, I'm like, I'm making Beyonce do this weird move. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, Beyonce. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it was, yeah, it was, if it never happens again, it's fine. I'm done.